Please be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angela Cruikshank. I'm the city clerk. I call this meeting to order. This meeting is the November 4th, 2013 organizational meeting and swearing in ceremony for the new council for the term 2013 to 2017. First of all, I'd like to thank the flag bearers of the Colour Guard from the police services, Constable Jason Ross and Constable Dave Hersick, and from the fire services, Scott Berg and Bill Messner. Our first order of business is the uh, singing of the Canadian National Anthem from our very own Rondi Corvin. I will ask everybody to rise for the National Anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all thy sons command, with glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you. You may all be seated. So first I'd like to invite all persons present for a moment for prayer or reflection. Thank you. I'd just like to outline the uh, swearing in process tonight. First of all, I will be swearing in the mayor and then the councillors. Once the mayor is sworn in, the mayor will, will, uh, hand the meeting, the, I will hand the meeting over to him and he will call up the councillors in alphabetical order by their last name. So, first of all, I will swear in the mayor.
swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, do you swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to the law and the office of men. Execute according to the law and the office of men. So help me God. So help me Uh, next, I'd like to call up Councillor Bill Cox. Next, I would like to call up Councillor Robert Dumanowski. Next, I would like to call up Councillor Julie Friesen. Next, can we have Councillor Jamie McIntosh? Thank you. 
Next, I'd like to call up Councillor Les Pearson. Next, could we have Councillor Selena Simmons? I'd like to call up Councillor Jim Turner. Finally, I'd like to call up Councillor Brian Varga. So the next portion of our meeting will be the um, appointments 
of City Council members to City of Medicine Hat Standing and Special Committees, External Boards and Quasi-Judicial Tribunals. I will read into the record the Mayor's appointments as follows. Appointments to committees reporting directly to Council, Administrative and Legislative, Legislative Review Committee, Councillor Cox, Councillor Pearson, Councillor Dumanowski. For the Audit Committee, Councillor Cox, Councillor McIntosh, Councillor Varga. For the Corporate Services Committee, Councillor Dumanowski, Councillor Turner, Councillor Varga. For the Development and Infrastructure Committee, Councillor Dumanowski, Councillor Pearson, Councillor Friesen. For the Energy Committee, Councillor Cox, Councillor Friesen, Councillor McIntosh, and Mayor Cluxton. For the Heritage Resources Committee, Councillor Pearson. And for the Public Services Committee, Councillor Friesen, Councillor Pearson, and Councillor Simmons. Regarding special appointments, the CCDA Downtown Planning Committee, Councillor McIntosh. Civic Functions, Councillor Pearson. Community Futures Entrecore, Keith Crush, Business Support Officer. Regional Drainage Committee, Councillor Pearson. City Representation on Other Boards, Committees and Commissions. Canadian Badlands, Councillor Varga, Mayor Clugston and Keith Crush, Business Support Officer. Chamber of Commerce, Councillor Turner. City Centre Development Agency, Councillor McIntosh. Cypress View Foundation, Councillor Friesen, Councillor Turner. Economic Development Alliance, Councillor Turner. Friends of Medalta, Councillor McIntosh. <coughs> Medicine Hat Community Housing Society, Councillor Simmons. Medicine Hat Exhibition and Stampede, Mayor Clugston. Medicine Hat Public Library, Councillor Simmons. Municipal Planning Commission, Councillor Varga, Councillor Turner. And staff appointments, Edward Jollymore, Stan Arakowski, and Roger Visbar. Palace Air Economic Partnership, Councillor Turner. Police Commission, Councillor Dumanowski and Councillor Friesen. Short Grass Library System, Councillor Simmons. Subdivision and Development Appeal Board, Councillor Cox, Councillor Turner. Tourism Medicine Hat Committee, Councillor Pearson. So I need a motion to uh, adopt this list. So moved. Second. Can I call the question? Yes. Can I call the question? Holland. Oh, mine's still there. There we go. That was unanimous. Thank you, very, everyone. And next I need a motion, excuse me, next I need a motion to approve the uh, acting and deputy mayor list which is attached to the council packet. Second. Okay, can I call the question? That was unanimous, thank you. So we're moving on to the mayor's inaugural address. Well, welcome everyone, friends, family, and citizens of this wonderful city. The nine of us around this table have worked very hard to attain these seats so that we may represent you as best we can. The work is not done. Getting elected is just the beginning. This truly is a four-year marathon, not a sprint. Elections are a difficult time, and now it is time for the healing to begin. To the unsuccessful candidates, I truly wish you the best, and may you have great success in whatever future endeavors you may pursue, and maybe we'll see you again in four years. I spent the last two weeks meeting with each counselor, discussing hopes, dreams, and the move forward strategy. I have no doubt that each and every one of them, including myself, is humbled and respects the trust and faith you have placed in us. I know that this council will disagree from time to time, but never will I doubt that any member doesn't have the citizens' best interests at heart. 
We are not waiting for a strategic planning session to get started. This council has spent the last two weeks getting to know one another and learning the ins and outs of the municipality. I believe we have been given a majority and a mandate to pursue some projects and policy changes immediately. Firstly, in the next council meeting, you will notice some organizational changes. The commissioners will be removed from the council table. This is by no means punishment and has been done with their consultation and blessing. I believe it is time for city council to be the governance board it was always meant to be. We are to provide vision, leadership, and objectives. It is staff's job to implement. We are the what, they are the how. While this may seem symbolic, we hope it signals a change. We are moving ahead with some capital projects as soon as possible. Viner Center, 603 First Street, Berms and Dykes. I do not want to be the mayor when the city floods. I do want to stand on the berm and watch the water rise as the city is saved. An Equidale expansion, the South Ridge Y, maybe even going into Burnside, and continued diversification of the energy, energy utility portfolio, hopefully a partnership with Methnex and any other large industrial or small business looking to come or expand. We've added a new committee called Administrative and Legislative Review. This committee existed six years ago, and it is time for its return. As well, I hope to form a Mayor's Advisory Committee of Business Leaders and Citizens and an Energy Non-Voting Advisory Board to bring a fresh set of eyes to any major acquisition, divestiture, or drilling program. We also tend to take, intend to take a hard look at how we deliver economic development and tourism. I also look forward during this term to the grand opening of our new Regional Event Centre and a newly expanded leisure. I feared we were going to be dealing with a crisis over the weekend. I spoke with former Mayor Boucher and some politicians and, com and community leaders about the possible baddest departure. We were actually gearing up uh, for a community and politically lobby effort to keep them here. I truly was worried my first day as mayor would bring terrible news until the base commander called me this morning to say they were staying. Never take anything for granted. They've been here as long as I can remember, and I have to admit it took a perceived crisis to truly remind me how important they are to this community in the hundreds of millions of dollars. So next time you see a soldier in town, please be friendly, welcoming, helpful, and thank them for being a part of our community all year long and not just the month of November. Thank you. Finally, no other level of government has a more direct impact on your day-to-day -day life than at the municipal level. We are the frontline servants. I'm sure I speak for all nine members when I say we feel the weight of the expectations of 61,000 souls, your hopes, your dreams. Sometimes this can be too heavy of a burden for any one municipal leader, but together as a team, we will strive to exceed your expectations and realize your dreams and our dream of a great medicine hat. Thank you, all of you, for this opportunity. So given that we are about to adjourn, I just ask that um, please rise while the flag bearers leave and you're all welcome to join us in a light reception in the Helen Bedney Gibson Lounge. Thank you. We are adjourned. <laughs>